You're listening to Thursday Night Tailgate with Chris Mascaro and Bob Lazari, where NFL legends live on. Back to you, boys. It's him. He's a lot. And now back with us here on Thursday Night Tailgate is former Patriots Pro Bowl running back Tony Collins. And like I say, reigning prognostication champion. But I'm telling you, Tone, Bob is absolutely <laughs> kicking our rear ends this season. Know, He's man. back with a vengeance. How you doing, Chris and Bob? Hi, Tony. <laughs> hey, Tony. <laughs> So, Tony, and, and, you know, and we didn't get to have you on last week. We were celebrating our eighth anniversary and doing our guest Hall of Fame induction. So we didn't get to pick, you know, the games last week. But if you go back to week two, Tone, you and I were three and two. Bob was four and one. He's nine and one now on the season. Wow. You're six and four. I'm five and five. So I, I get that wow. there's a long way to go and all that cliche, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. But I'm telling you, we got to pick it up, my friend. I know, man. I, I know. I mean, it's, it's incredible how 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 efficient he is right now. But you know, like you said, it's a, a long season. Yeah, we all, Tony. We all have two and three, one and four weeks in us, so they're coming. It's just uh, you know, we'll talk in December. <laughs> That's right. All right, fellas, let's get into this week's games, and we're going to start with the Thursday night game: the one and two Eagles going to the three and zero oh Packers. Tony, the Packers, you know, again, they've had three games now. This will be the third game out of four that they've had at home. I think we've picked against them both times. They, you know, we've had them in in our series of picks. But um, your thoughts? Can they make it three in a row, four in a row overall, or is uh, this the week am, the Eagles come back and they put a damper on things? I am not going against the Packers uh, 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 this time, so I'm going to go with the Packers. But you know, it's going to be a good game. You know, Philly. Really struggling right now, man. I mean, uh, I, I don't know if Wentz is, is healthy or not. I mean, cause it's just the offense is just not clicking like it, like it, like it was in the, in, in the past. And, uh, you know, Aaron Rodgers is not killing it right now. Their defense is playing well, but Aaron Rodgers, you know, you, you got Aaron Rodgers on your side. So I'm not going, I'm not betting against Aaron Rodgers again. I, I, I think it, it'll be a close game, but Green Bay's going to pull it out. We're going to go 27 24 at Green Bay. Okay. Bob, who do you like? Yeah, I think Tony hit it right on the head. I mean, Green Bay with um <clears throat> with Aaron Rodgers playing at Lambeau, you, you really just don't bet against that, Chris. And, and the amazing thing, as Tony pointed out, their defense, 35 points allowed in three games, the, only the Patriots are better. That That's incredible. We've always said if Green Bay had a defense, my goodness, that's yep. the way they get to the Super Bowl. So this is a team that's uh, pretty good. I mean, at home now, and I think Rodgers will only get better with LaFleur. They're still getting familiar with each other. So Tony's right. I had a 30-27 Green Bay. Okay. And I'm with both of you guys, right? You know, once bitten, twice shy. If I go against them a third time, I'm an idiot. So there's no way I'm picking against <laughs> the Packers three times. You know, um, Rodgers has been efficient, if nothing else, four touchdowns, which is kind of modest, you know, through three games, but no picks. And uh, to your point, guys, defense, outstanding, right? They have eight takeaways, which is – Tops in the league right now. They're second in the league in average points allowed. To your point, Bob, uh, a shade under 12 points a game. They're third in the league in sacks with 12. And they're at home. Yeah, absolutely. Packers all day. I like them 27 to 17. Our second game tone is your 3-0 and Patriots going up to the equally 3-0 and Buffalo Bills. I got my Buffalo Bills jersey on tonight because all of us are <laughs> Buffalo Bills fans this week. I got my jersey all set out. There you go, Angelo Kane. I got your jersey on, my friend. So, yeah. Bill, so, uh, so Tony, you know, can, uh, can your Patriots, uh, you know, and hey, take a look now. Every once in a while, the Bills step, step up and, and, and bite your boys in the rear. So, what do you think? Is it, do they go 4-0 yeah, and oh, or yeah. is this the, the Bills? They, they do that, man. They, they, they play good at home and their, and their defense is playing good football too. And, you know, that's, that's one thing about Buffalo right now. Their defense is playing well. Um, but you know what? We got Belichick and we got Brady. And that's the that's the capper right there, you know. <laughs> New England New England's defense is playing <laughs> off the charts, man. It's just incredible. I, I I'm just I'm hoping they they keep this up, and I and I think they will. They're they're healthy right now, um. Uh, so you know we're we're going into Buffalo, and I know Angelo. I hope he's listening to this. We're going into Buffalo. And, 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 you know, a lot of people think it's going to be a low scoring game because we got two great defenses, but you know what? 
it, it will be a low scoring game for for the Buffalo Bills. I'm going 31 to 10 New England. Wow, that's a that's a a Tony a Tony Collins blowout without saying it. <laughs> but he's got him up by three touchdowns. I know Angelo Kane is twisting out there right now, wanting to crawl through the phone. Bob, what do you think? Uh, Tony mentioned the Buffalo defense played it have played well, so allowing 47 points. Well, New England's 30 below that, so that's how good the Patriots defense is. And, you know, and, and for what they did last week, Chris, you know they won by 16. Uh, they were kind of stale at times, so th- that's how good they are. They were a little stale last week. I don't think they'll be that stale this week. I mean, that's they're, they're starting to gel even more with this kind of. Uh, Newfangled offense, if you would. I mean, they're, I agree with Tony. I mean, I think they're going to put, they put 35 points on the board every game. 35, 14, New England. Wow. So you got it as a blowout too. So, so guys, as I mentioned a moment ago, like, look, when you go back and look over the last few years for the Patriots, one of their two losses in 2016 came in week four against the Bills. They got them again in 2014. Well, what's funny about both of those wins, both of those times the Bills won tone, it was in Foxborough. So it wasn't like they were getting them in Buffalo. They got them in New England. Now this one is in Buffalo. So, um, I don't know. I, you know, so my thought here, here's why the Bills can win, right? They have seven takeaways right now on defense. Tony, you mentioned their defense, right? So, which is second in the league. They're near the top in pass defense. They're ninth. They're allowing 212 yards passing a game. They're eighth in rushing defense, only allowing 88 yards a game. And they're only giving up a shade under 16 points a game, which is fifth. Now, to, you, to both of your points, the Patriots defense is outstanding. So let's take a, let, let's take a grain of salt with that, right? They played a team that probably couldn't beat Clemson in the Miami Dolphins. That, that, that doesn't count. That's not, they, that's not a real NFL team. So they did that. And then on top of that, you know, they played my Steelers who didn't even get off the plane in week one. So there's that. So neither one of those count. And, you know, so at the end of the day, you know, that, the Bills defense is way better than that. So I, I give, look, you know, and their offense isn't bad. Oh, by the way, they're fifth in rushing yards. So, I mean, they're rushing the ball well. So look, I think the, the, the Bills, you know, they could win. I don't think they're going to win. I mean, I still think the Patriots will win the game, but I think it's going to be darn close. I, you guys got them getting blown out. I think the Patriots win that game 24 to 20. And we've got a caller on the line that probably thinks the Bills are a little bit better than that. Angelo Kane, how are you, my friend? How dare you, Tony? How dare you? Uh, what's up, Angelo? He, g- he giggles like a little schoolgirl. Oh, my God. Calling you out, Ed. Calling you out. Oh, I know. I know. I, I, I had what, a what, hey, feeling Angelo, that what, was going to happen. Angelo, what do you, what, what, what you think the score is going to be, Angelo? All right. Here it is. It's going to be <laughs> 27-24. Bill finally win. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> okay, you, you got the Patriots. They're playing this cupcake schedule. They haven't beaten anybody yet. They should have blown out, uh, you know, both the, who was it? Uh, who was the game that I, it was the Dolphins, right? That I said that you had yeah. underperformed. Yeah. I mean, so what, who made up this schedule, Tony? Come on. Hey, man. I mean, they, 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 they gotta, they gotta play what's on their schedule. What, what, what you want from us? Man, we play what's on our schedule. I thought the Super Bowl winners were supposed to have a little bit of a test the following season. <laughs> I mean, come Not on, when you man. play the AFC but, but, East. <laughs> no, it, it, I mean, I, I like Tony's uh, reaction a couple weeks ago. I, I wanted to bring this up because I, I, I was cracking up listening to it. But you had asked him uh, a couple weeks ago um, who he thought uh, the Patriots had to worry about. <laughs> and he just laughed. He just laughed. He said, <laughs> in the AFC? And he just, like, man, no respect from this guy. But let me tell you something. The Bills are different this year. Everything feels different. I think we finally have a quarterback. We got a defense that's playing very well. Um, you know, I mean, we, we won two games with comeback. So it's a team that's not given up. I, you know, Tony, this is it. Everything changes this year, this Sunday. (laughs) Not going to happen, brother. Not going to (laughs) happen. 
if, if anyone has got a chance to beat the the Patriots, to Ange, Ange's point, they, you know, again, you, you, you're right, Tony. You can only play who's on your schedule. But when you when you've got the Jets and the and the Dolphins, it's like putting four wins in the bank. And and quite frankly, when you you got the Bills, you figure at best you're gonna split with the Bills. So there's five wins right in the bank before the season ever starts. So they, all, all the Patriots have to do is figure out a way to win five or six more games, and they're back in the playoffs. So yeah, I think if if someone's gonna step up and beat them, and I, I wish this game was later in the year. I'd love to see them go at it. You know, up in Buffalo when, with, you know, a, a foot of snow on the ground and, and all of that sort of thing, because anybody can win that game. You, you never know. But, um, I, I think if anybody can beat them, I think, I think it's the Bills. I think the Bills defense is good. If, if Allen cannot make a bunch of mistakes and they can run the ball well, right. I think it, right. it could be competitive. I think this could be competitive. That's why I say, I still think the Patriots win, but I think it's a lot closer than, uh, than what you guys think it's going to be. You guys are yeah, you I, guys are forgetting you, you guys are forgetting about the two B's, man. The two B's, <laughs> Belichick and Brady. The two B's, baby. Belichick and Brady. Uh, that's okay. You know what we did, Tony. I don't know if you heard about this rumor, but uh, rumor has it that we brought in a little bit of a, um, a special uh, force here at the stadium, and um, I, I'm not sure, but I think it was Tanya Harding was hired as. Some sort of, um, I think she's working concessions, or maybe she's uh, cleaning up the Patriots locker room. Give it a something. shot. So, <laughs> Tanya Harding and Jeff Galuli, look out for security. Uh, oh, man, you're crazy. Uh, man, you're the best. Thank you, Thanks for jumping in, Thank Ed. Thank you, Ed. Uh, All right, Angelo. <laughs> That's uh, Angelo uh, Kane. Yeah. Angelo Kane Art, by the way. Go check out his website. Great stuff. All right, fellas, we got a couple of more games to get through. Let's get to our third game, with the, which has the 3-0 and Chiefs going to the surprising 2-0-1 and Lions. Tony, can the Lions hang with the Chiefs? I like the Lions, man. They're, they're, they're playing good football. The only thing that kind of bothers me is that they couldn't beat Arizona. Arizona, I, 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 I watched them play last week against uh, – um, against uh, Charlotte, and um, you know, even with the the new kid playing, they 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 couldn't they couldn't stay on the field with 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 with, uh, with, with Carolina, and so um, you know, Kansas City just got too much firepower, man. It's, it's, these guys, I've watched Mahomes, man, and the kid is just incredible. He's just, you know, this is a kid. If he stays healthy, he's gonna break so many records. He's just gonna be unbelievable. Uh, he's got all those weapons. Uh, they, they got a decent defense. They don't got a great defense, but they, they just got too much firepower. And, and um, you know, and I know, I know Kansas City's going there, but there's no way that the Lions can, can, can hang with, can hang with Kansas City right now. So we're going to go, we're going to go 35 to 24. Won't be a blowout. They'll, 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 they'll score some points, but Kansas City's just got too much, too many weapons right now. We're going Kansas City. All right, Bob. How about you? What do you think? Yeah, I think Tony's right again. I, the, 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 I mean, Detroit scores twenty points a game, guys, and and you know uh, Kansas City just throwing their helmets out there. They're going to hit thirty. So it's to me, it's just a question of math. I mean, Detroit is playing pretty good defense if you look at their points against, but uh, Mahomes is going to be too much. So it's going to be like Tony said. I, I, I'm going to say thirty-one twenty, Kansas City. All right, and and I'm with you guys. I'm firmly on, on the Chiefs bandwagon. If, if a team was going to slow them down, I thought it was going to be the Ravens, and Mahomes still threw for 375 and three touchdowns, and the Lions are 22nd against the pass. So it's going to be more of the same. I'm with you. I got the Chiefs winning the game 38-24. We've got our next guest, Bill Madlock, hanging on the line, going to get to Bill in just a moment. Our fourth game, guys, the 1-2 and two Browns going to the 2-1 and one Ravens. Tony, are the are the Browns going to continue to show that they were all hype and no substance, or do they uh, get the ship righted and uh, and get a win in Baltimore? I, I don't think so right now, man. I I I, I watched the Ravens and the Ravens. They got a great run in attack. The Ravens were actually in that game uh, with Kansas City uh, uh, last week. They they had a lot of opportunities to 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 actually win the game to to be in it and. Um, you know, with Lamar Jackson, 
uh, what a great athlete he is. He's th- he's showing you know showing the league that he can throw the ball out of the pocket. And so uh, I don't know. I mean, Cleveland man, I, I, I'm kind of disappointed in them. I, I I just thought they would they would they would be like three and zero right now, but they're not. And it's just they're just not clicking together. So I, I'm going with the Ravens. The Ravens beating them and and, and kind of beating them pretty good. We're gonna go 35 to 17. All right, Bob. What do you think? I agree with Tony. Baltimore. Uh, if you, if you said that they had scored more points than anyone in the NFL, you'd say, "What about New England or Kansas City?" No, Baltimore's number one, and they're still playing good defense, guys. So, and in, in, in Cleveland, as Chris has said on occasion, they're still the Browns, you know. So, so uh, we're gonna go Baltimore. <laughs> I'm gonna say Baltimore thirty-one twenty-one. Yeah, and I'm and I'm with you guys. I like the Ravens as well. Exactly right, Bob. They're, they're still the, the Browns are the Browns. You can interchange the players and the coaches, but it's still Cleveland and they're still the Browns. They're going to be one and three after this week. And the internal implosion is probably going to start between Mayfield and Odell and his $200,000 watch and all of that sort of stuff. Mayfield's already thrown five picks, second in the league. So uh, I'm with you. I take the Ravens 30 to 20. Our last game is the three and O Cowboys going into the wounded two and one Saints. Tony, can the Drew Breesless Saints take a stand at home, or will it be the Cowboys staying undefeated? Wait a minute before before I get into this game. Why why we don't have Steelers on the on the docket this week? <laughs> you got to be a good team to get on the docket this week. You got the Steelers and the Bengals, Tony. The Steelers and the Bengals. Come on, okay, lockdown. Just, my uh, my Steelers are killing me. I can I yeah, <laughs> they're killing me. You, you know, Cowboys are playing good football, man. They, they, they and, and um, you know, they're going down to New Orleans. And New Orleans, they, they always play good in New Orleans. But one thing New Orleans don't, do not have, they do not have Drew Brees, and that's going to hurt them. Um, you know, with the running game that Dallas has, and and Prescott, uh, the, the the kid is uh playing good football right now. Uh, Mari Cooper is playing good football. Their, their defense is playing pretty pretty good. So uh, we're, you know, it's, I think it'll be a close game because because they're playing in New Orleans. As long as they give them a fight with those crazy fans down there, we're gonna go uh, twenty-eight to twenty-five, Dallas Cowboys. Yes, sir. All right, Bob. Yeah, like and I agree with Tony again. Uh, Dallas. I mean, Saints. So that's my Super Bowl team, Chris, but not without Breeze. Yeah, so Bridgewater, not too. Breeze. And uh, this is a team, Dallas, again, they're playing good defense, and they're pretty healthy. And uh, just to have too much, they're almost at 100 points. So, yeah, it's, I think it's going to be – I think uh, Saints won't embarrass themselves. 30-24, Dallas. Yeah, and I'm right in the same area. I got the Cowboys as well. That The Saints defense is always what kills them, right? I mean, they gave up 406 yards passing to Russell Wilson last week. They're 30th against the pass. They're 26th against the run. They're giving up a shade over 27 points a game. And now – you got Dak Prescott, who's hot as all get out. He's second in the league in passer rating, completing 75% of his passes. He's got nine touchdowns, which is second in the league. Zeke is averaging five yards a carry. And Amari Cooper, who the, the Raiders left for dead, is averaging 15 yards a catch and is tied for the league league with four touchdowns. So, yeah, Cowboys. I like it. It'll be close. I'm with you guys. I think it's going to be close. I have them right near you, Tone, 27-24. Tony, before we let you go, remind our listeners about the great things you do helping kids go to college. TonyCollinsFoundation.org. Go to that website. Make any kind of donations that you can. You can also order uh, order my book, uh, Broken Road, from there. Every every book that I sell goes on uh, goes to, towards helping kids go off to college. We love you, Tony. Thank you so much. We look forward to catching up with love you, you again too. next week. Hopefully, we can make up some ground. Have a great week, sure. Tony. Well, we're not gonna be able to make up no ground. We're all, we all got the same thing. <laughs> 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 Got to keep that in mind for future reference. <laughs> it's different from Bob occasionally. <laughs> See you, Tone. See you soon. All right, guys. Take care. Come. All right. We've got our next guest, Bill Madlock. I'm hanging on the line. We're going to get to Bill on the other side of this real quick station break.